Hi everyone, this is Rocky Citro from SeriousScholar.com and I just wanted to go over a quick problem uh, that some people run into when they're creating a table of contents or a list of tables. Um, this usually happens in a thesis or dissertation. And um, sometimes you'll notice that when you click on your table of contents or your list of tables, if, you, if you're using uh, linked styles, if you're not sure how to use linked styles, uh, I'll be putting up a guide soon on the site at SeriousScholar.com. Um, but let's just imagine that you know if you're at this point and you're looking for this uh, solution to this problem, um, then it's probably because you have something like this and you're clicking on your, your table of contents, let's say table 5 in our list of tables. Uh, I'm just using a list of tables. It could be a table of contents with a subheading. Uh, so I clicked on table 5 and it took us down to this page here, page 45. Uh, table 4 is on this page, table 5 is not on this page, table 5 is on the next page. Uh, and so there's a, there's a few different possible causes of this, so I'll go over them really quickly. Um, you can hit the control, hold down the control key and hit home to go back up to the top of your document. Um, or you can search for, as you see over here, I have a list of tables on the, the side. Um, so the first thing we should do is update the page numbers in the list of tables and maybe that'll solve the problem. So you can right click in your list of tables or table of contents, choose update field, and then just update the page numbers because let's imagine, these shouldn't be italicized, but let's just imagine we have some nice formatting in place here. Um, we don't want to completely redo the table of contents here. That's just an example. So let's try table five again. We hold down the control key and we click on it to go down and we still have the same problem so even though the page number is updated in the in our list it didn't work so um, again another little trick instead of control home you can hit control F type in your terminal um, list of tables and it takes us up here okay so now the other option is um, when we go down to let's go back down actually to table 5 uh, there might be some formatting here in this little blank space. Uh, this usually is a problem for people who have been moving around their tables and figures because their school requires them to do that for their formatting. Um, so maybe this blank space here has the wrong formatting in it. So first thing we're going to try is up here at the top of the screen in the Home tab, there's this little um, clear formatting icon. Looks like a little eraser. Um, click on that uh, right above the the page where the table you you want to go to is located and let's clear that formatting okay so we got rid of that okay and um, we can put our formatting back but sometimes that's enough sometimes there's you know something left over here that you had um, before and you have some blank space formatted so let's um, let's try it again um, up here okay and it's still taking us down here um, so let's let's try something else let's go back up to the table of contents and let's redo the entire list here so right click on it go to update field and this time you want to click update entire table okay um, now it looks like we actually lost our our entire table here um, so we can't even go down to table five um, so anytime this happens to you something like that happens to you and you're not sure how to deal with the formatting uh, hit the undo button um, there's better ways to do this. If you, if you do know what you're doing, there's other ways to do it. But let's just say that we don't for the sake of example. Um, hit Control Z for undo or use this little undo thing at the top of your screen. And um, just keep going back until, okay, now we're back to a step where we know we didn't uh, you know, do anything because I had changed this italic. So I'm going to put it back. So we still have the same problem. Okay, we're still going back down. Um, we've un undid everything. Um, let's try to go back up to the table of contents again, or this list of tables, uh, and let's try to redo the table of contents again. Okay, this time we haven't cleared our formatting out like last time. Let's try to click on, control click on table 5 again, and now that has taken us back down to the right place. Um, so whatever the problem was here, it was solved in this case by redoing the entire table of contents and not just updating the page numbers. Um, now, there's still a potential problem here that I didn't cover um, and that is that Microsoft Word has sometimes their page breaks and section breaks come out as hidden font text um, and so you know what you 
that means if you're inserting a page break here in the page layout menu. Okay, that should work, um, but um, but in some cases, um, you just want to check and make sure you don't have a hidden page break because the Word table of contents might not recognize it. I think they've solved this actually in 2010, but I'm not, I'm not sure. So just in case, you can go to the Home tab, you click on Replace, okay, and type in this little caret, which is above the 6 key, so you have to hit Shift. Six and the little lowercase letter M. That's for stands for a manual page break. Okay, and in the first, the find field. Okay, go to the um, click on more, click on format, font, and then this hidden text. Make sure it's checked. You're looking for a hidden page break, and then in this replace with field, go back to font, uncheck the hidden. Okay, not so it's blue, but so it's unchecked. And then click Find Next. There's none in my document, but yours might, what one might come up. And if it does, click Replace. Um, and you can replace all of them, actually. Um, well, I shouldn't say that because I don't know what other formatting you have in your document. But in this case, if you're right at the problem area and you see like a little blue bar highlight um, when you do this Find and Replace, that's probably the problem. Try to replace it. Um, the other problem is usually when you're moving things around manually. If you stick your cursor here and you move tables down, sometimes remnants of the formatting get left if you're copying and pasting it around. Uh, but hopefully one of those solutions worked for you. If you still have a problem with all of that, uh, then please post a comment and I'll see if I can help you out. Okay, thanks again. This is Rocky from SeriousScholar.com.